Once upon a time, there was a land far, far away, home to a beautiful kingdom worthy of filling the pages of a fairy tale storybook. Welcome to the enchanted city of Graz. Hey travel dudes, my name is Jenna Davis and for the next couple days we're going to be exploring the festive city of Graz and it's snowing. There are so many different Christmas markets to explore in Graz and depending on what you're looking for will depend on which market is your favorite. So we're at the Mierplatz and behind me during the evening they play some live music and you'll see from the hut that it's actually quite a modern Christmas market compared to all of the traditional ones in the city. Yes, this is all handmade and from my wife mainly, she is a uh, jewelry artist. The Christmas market is of course very important, we are professional, we make this is our profession. We are only uh, on market, okay. handcraft market uh, in whole Austria. So the traditional story goes that in Germany and Austria, Santa Claus's elves will hold this bell and when the presents have all been put under the tree, afterwards dinner is all finished up, the doors will open and the bell will ring and that means that the presents are there, Santa is finished and it's time to unwrap your gifts. We're going to go try out our first glue vine that's mulled wine. It can be red or white and it's served with Christmas spices served up warm. So let's go. Cheers. Mm. It's delicious and warms the core of my body. <laughs> I've ordered my favorite dish, which is very popular here in Austria and Germany. It's called Käsespätzle, which is a dish similar to gnocchi. It's made of flour, milk and egg, and then covered in melted cheese. It's perfect for the Christmas season, nice and warm. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this deliciously warm dessert that we just found at the Christmas market in Graz. But I've seen it before. It's quite popular in the Czech Republic, in Slovakia, in Hungary, and now you see it everywhere in Austria at the Christmas markets. It's dough that's been wrapped around a wooden stick and roasted over the fire over quite a long period of time with cinnamon, nuts, caramel. So let's give it a try. Mmm. <laughs> I want to get another one. <laughs> And this is raclette. It's a traditional dish here at the Christmas market in the Alp region. It's melted cheese, simply scraped off the wheel and put right on a ciabatta. So, mm -hmm. yum. And it's time to check into our hotel. And we've chose one hotel in particular here. It's called Hotel Wiesla. It was built in 1909. So it's got a very interesting mix between historical architecture and very modern architecture. You can see that today in their hotel rooms, in their bar. And it's also very cool to be able to say that I stayed in the same hotel as Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Dalai Lama, Mick Jagger, and the one and only Johnny Cash. So no matter where in the world I am, regardless of Christmas markets or not, there's one thing that I always love to do and that's visit the farmer's market. So we spoke to 
one of the wonderful women at the hotel and we asked her what's exactly special about the farmers markets in Graz and where would should we go and so we're at Lendplatz now and this is a farmers market right around the corner from our hotel with lots of fresh fruits flowers vegetables and it's pretty awesome And this is another local favorite. It's pumpkin oil, 100% pumpkin oil made from pumpkins. And the gentleman behind me actually just told me that he grows the pumpkins himself. They press it, squeeze the pumpkin juice out and create this delicious pumpkin oil and fresh baked cookies. And this, I recognize this in Germany actually, it's a Christmas wreath and there's more over there. Let's go over there and I'll tell you a bit more about it. They're beautiful and they're handmade here. And if you can see, there's four candles and on the first Sunday of December, they'll light the first candle, and then every following Sunday, they'll, they'll light the other candles. And this is a special day for people in Austria and Germany. It's to spend time with family or friends, to celebrate, you can watch a movie, you can bake cookies, it's really up to you, but I think it's a really neat tradition here that they celebrate. We are up at the Schlossberg right now, next to the castle, up on a hill with a beautiful view of the city. And there's three ways to get up here. You can take a cable car, funicular, you can take the elevator up to the top of the tower, or you can come up by foot. And if you're gonna choose coming up by foot, there's some really awesome views along the way up the hill, around the entire circumference of the hill. And you can also stop for really nice hot chocolate, or just hang out up here and enjoy the beautiful view. Just behind me is the famous clock tower of Graz and I was looking at it for a couple minutes thinking one time and then after a little bit I realized that I read the time completely wrong. Take a look at this clock and tell me what time it is. So it actually looks like it's just past four o'clock or what I originally thought was just past four o'clock. But if you take a look at the hands, it's actually 1.20 at the moment, but in former times, the larger hand was just counting the hour, and then it was only until later on that they discovered adding an additional hand would count the minutes. And that's why the larger hand now counts the hours and the smaller hand counts the minutes. We are here at the Glockenspielplatz in Graz right now, and I'm not the only one here. There's a lineup of people down the street waiting for this big show. It's a lad and a maiden that come out and do a little jig in the windows up in the clock here. They're dressed in traditional Austrian clothing, and it's just a nice, romantic, exciting thing to do in the Christmas markets here. This looks like a pretty cool shop. Let's go in. So this shop is called Rettel and it's actually got a really amazing history in here. You can read it all behind here from 1868 and it's brought in this modern way of a mixture of fashion between the Scottish tartan and an Austrian design. And what's really cool is here on this mannequin you can see this tartan and the different colors. And so each color actually has a different meaning and they've developed that here. They've created this, this tartan for 10 different regions in Austria. And so I can show you here is another different color. And we've got the nice golden yellow mixed with the red stripes, the blue, and every single color has a different meaning. So it's really neat and traditional, but at the same time it's got this modern flair. It's a really fun shop to check out while you're in Graz. If you've been out of the loop, traditional clothing has been making a comeback. And specifically in Graz, Austria, this store has been making a serious comeback. You can choose a mix between traditional, outerwear, and slightly crazy. Depending on your style, it fits for your need, and you're still representing traditional Austrian style. 
and no trip to Austria during the Christmas season is complete with a little ice skating. Krampus laugh right now. It's the demon run just before Christmas. It usually happens on the 5th of December. And to be honest, I don't know how the children do it. It is terrifying. You look one of these in the eyes and they're like staring into your soul. I just can't do it. <laughs> special Christmas market here tonight and I've been told that regardless of how much glue vine you want to drink you don't really have to feel bad about it so I'm gonna ask one of the people working here today to see exactly what makes it so special <laughs> so what makes this Christmas market here different um, this Christmas market is special, special, special because it's um, for charity projects and each cottage is for a different project and ours is for a bilingual child book. So regardless of how much of this I drink, it's all going to charity. So there's always a ton going on during the Christmas season in Graz, but if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, a little bit more local, where there's not too many people, but you can still enjoy a nice evening with warm glue wine and delicious treats. You can come to some, somewhere like this, like the Chris Kindle Markt, which is a really, really sweet way to enjoy the evening in peace. If there's anything better than a snowy white Christmas market, it's a snowy white Christmas market on top of a hill overlooking the city right next to a castle. So we're up here, we took a cable car up to the top of the mountain and we're going to check out the local Christmas market here. It's got regional products, some traditional Austrian music playing in the background. If all Christmas markets were like this one, I think I would come every single day. It's incredible. Take a look at this view. So we were 
were told that this Christmas market in particular was rated the best Christmas market in Austria. And it's really for a reason. It's not a tourist gimmick. There's so many local people up here in this castle as well. And there's awesome little trinkets here to buy. And it's really unique and it's different than all of the other Christmas markets. dinner time and we're gonna eat at one of the best views in the city up on the Schlossberg up on the hill by the castle and this is called the Schlossberg restaurant we're gonna go in and try some local favorites And that is it for our castle experience. We're at the end of the funicular now going into the city, but it was an awesome restaurant experience with the best view of the city and a really, really cool Christmas market. Graz is, um, first of all, the second biggest city in Austria, but it's still very small. We only have about 250,000 inhabitants. And what makes it so special for me, that is it's big enough to be an international city, but it's small enough to be a city where you go around the corner and meet a friend. You always mix and mingle with the locals. It's not the type of city which is overrun by tourists. So wherever you go, whatever bar, restaurant, shop you pick, you will always catch up with the locals. And I think that makes the city so special. And that was the beautiful city of Graz, in the heart of Austria, home to more than 250,000 villagers and the capital of the ravishing region of Styria. We took a journey through the old cobblestone streets of the historical old town and into the land of Christmas markets and fairy tales where dreams come true. That is unless you're on Santa's naughty list. But regardless of which season you come, whether it's winter, spring, summer or fall, the atmosphere is incredible, the people are amazing, the food is delicious and I absolutely cannot wait to come back again. <laughs>